Top 10 Weirdest Foods From Around the World What is the most unusual dish that you've ever tried to eat? During the Songkran event in Chiang Mai, Thailand, I indulged in a platter of deep fried ants. For me, it was an unforgettable experience. After what seemed like hours of racing around in what felt like a city-wide water fight, we eventually made our way to a restaurant for some much-needed sustenance. It was a sweltering day, and we had been running around for hours. Learn more about the incredible adventures people have had. I didn't give it much thought at the time because I was so hungry that I was just shoveling these golden, crispy little things down by the handful. But looking back, yeah, that was kind of strange. The ants were served as an appetizer, and they were washed down with plenty of chan. I didn't think about it too much at the time because I was so hungry. They do say that over a relatively short period, insects could become a standard element of Western diets, so it would be best to get used to the idea. Here are some more odd dishes, which, if any of these, have you ever tried before? Number 10. Ballot. The duck embryo known as a ballot is around two to three weeks old when it is harvested. After being boiled, it is consumed while still in the shell, and the crispiness of the little beak and feet can be tasted. Thankfully, there are no feathers present just yet. Even though just thinking about it makes me feel sick to my stomach, it is considered a delicacy in nations like Laos and Cambodia, as well as in the Philippines, where some street food vendors serve it uncooked. Number 9. Locusts. Israel. Where are swarms of locusts not considered a problem to be dealt with? When they are considered a regional specialty, of course. Any kind of disease is bound to be an annoyance, but at least this one can be used as a crunchy and kosher snack in addition to being a nuisance. Because locusts are the only type of insect that can be eaten and are a significant source of protein. Israelis consume them as a means of reducing the problem while also benefiting from the protein they provide. The streets are being taken over by an actual swarm of deep-fried locusts that have been dipped in chocolate. Are you going to muster the courage to take a bite? Although eating insects is certainly up there on the list of strangest foods, you shouldn't be shocked if you come across some creepy crawlies on a menu anywhere in the world. Number 8. Century Egg, China, in Chinese. Century eggs are a traditional dish in Chinese cuisine that is made from eggs and is considered to be a delicacy. They are also known by the names hundred, year eggs and thousand year eggs. Imagine that they didn't want to refer to it as a rotten egg, even though it is, in essence, just that. It is produced by storing duck, chicken, or quail eggs in a mixture of clay, ash, and salt for months at a time. After this period, the yolk will have changed color to a dark green or gray and will smell strongly of sulfur. Number 7. Kasumarzu, Italy. Do you enjoy the more unusual varieties of cheese? Excellent, but what about the uncommon cheeses that have live maggots embedded in them? Too far? As Italy is the country of origin for the following strange food, you would think that it would be delicious. This dish, which originates in Sardinia and is known as Kasumarzu, is also referred to as rotten cheese because it is prepared using pecorino which is well past its expiration date. Next, to make things even more strange, the pecorino is mixed with the larvae of cheese flies, biophilia case, who then hatch inside, burrow about, digest the lipids, and change the result into a soft creamy cheese. You have the option of eating it with the maggots or not eating them at all. Number 6. A jellied moose nose, located in Canada. Moose were hunted for food by indigenous people across Canada and Alaska in the 1830s, and every part of the animal was consumed. The recipe was so popular that it was included in a cookbook that was published in 1967 called Northern Cookbook. It is not only difficult to hunt down a moose but also a labor-intensive dish. First, the hair from the inside of the moose nose has to be removed, then the nose needs to be boiled and reboiled, and finally, it needs to be covered with a broth that is allowed to solidify into a jelly. Voila! Jellied moose nose! Number 5. Fried Tarantulas, Cambodia Under the rule of the Khmer Rouge, impoverished Cambodians initially began eating spiders, which is the origin of the food known as the eight-legged dish. Nowadays, hairy arachnids are still considered a favorite snack throughout the country there is even a village in Cambodia. 
that has been given the nickname Spiderville because of the people who live there and how much they enjoy eating spiders. According to reports, they have a flavor that is comparable to that of crab. Therefore, it is possible that you could get behind the emerging fad of eating insects as food. Number 4. Stargazy Pie, in the United Kingdom. It's possible that even though this meal has a name that has a romantic ring to it, you won't end up eating it on your special evening out with your significant other. This peculiar dish, which can also be found under the name Starry Gazy Pie, was first created in the Cornish community of Mousehole, which is located in England. The history of this dish, which is served on the 23rd of December as it has been done for centuries, may pique your interest in trying it. The story goes that on a stormy night in December of the 16th century, a courageous sailor rode out into the ocean with high winds and returned with a catch that was sufficient to feed the starving citizens of the town. The Cornish pie is prepared by baking pilchards, eggs, and potatoes inside a shell made of dough. The distinguishing characteristic of this dish, which gives it its name, is that the heads of the fish should protrude from the top of the pie. Number 3. Tuna Eyeballs, Japan. When it comes to tuna, the Japanese will eat every last crumb of it, right up to the point where it comes out of their eyes. Tuna eyeballs are the next entry on our list of strange meals. Because you can get them for a low price at the grocery stores in your area, you should put them at the top of your list of things to buy before you go grocery shopping. You can find this fishy delicacy on the menus of restaurants throughout the country, and if you dare to try it out, you won't be disappointed. Undoubtedly, there are a great number of unique recipes for tuna eyeballs. Nevertheless, the simplest method for preparing them is to boil or steam them, then season them with garlic or soy sauce, and then enjoy. This fact may come as a surprise to you, but the flavor of tuna eyeballs is rather similar to that of squid. Number 2. Ballot, Philippines. Enter yet another egg, based delicacy, ballot from the Philippines. What exactly is a ballot? Fertilized duck eggs are typically used for this dish, which consists of boiling the eggs while they are still alive and then eating them directly from the shell after seasoning them with salt, pepper, and vinegar. The eggs are consumed roughly two to three weeks into the growth process. Embryo and everything? Yes. The traditional method calls for taping a hole in the top of the egg, sucking the flavorful liquid out of the egg, and then chewing and swallowing the remainder of the mature egg, feathers, bones, and all. Number 1. Hulacoke, in the Mexican state. Have you ever been curious about trying corn fungus? I didn't think so. Nevertheless, after trying this particular dish that is traditional in Mexico, you could reconsider your position. A corn cob infected with a disease is the basis for the regional delicacy known as Hutlacoque, which is also known as corn smut or Mexican truffle. The long and the short of it is that Hutlacoque is produced by a plant disease that grows in puffy, gray clouds around the kernels of corn on the ears of corn. This disease is called Hutlacoque. Because of the fungus, the meal is said to have a flavor that is both earthy and woodsy, and it is considered to be a culinary delicacy. How was the video? Did you enjoy it? Post your feedback in our comment section below. And subscribe to our YouTube channel for more updates.